So when ladies did it become serious and I did we do we go on to school and I'll go to you, Betsy. Well, when did it become the trajectory of your oh, life? Oh man, I mean I think I don't know if I ever thought I would genuinely do anything else in my life. And mm-hmm. that might sound crazy, but I think I always just said, Oh no, I'm I'm gonna be on Broadway, which is kind of crazy now knowing what it takes, which I'm sure you guys could say the same thing, like knowing what it takes and the combination of opportunity and luck and just being in the right place at the right time and and the your talent level, you're just natural starting out talent level. So I think all mm-hmm. like that whole combo to just say, I'm just going to be on Broadway. <laughs> it's like <laughs> to actually get to say I am now is kind of a, just like a nutty combination. Yeah. I think I always knew, though, there was just something inside. And so when I, I took a family trip here to New York uh, when I was 15 years old, it was the first time I ever saw New York City. And we just kind of all knew. I was like, oh, yeah, I'll be here and like, you know seven years when I graduate college or whenever. And so that's exactly the trajectory. Was it seven years yeah, exactly? it was like wow. six wow. years later. In fact, <laughs> what's funny is my family was just in town and I posted this picture because 20 years ago exactly, we took this picture in Schubert Alley in front of my family, in front of all these different, you know, show, show posters. posters. And so I said, guys, they all came back and saw Waitress my first Aww. week. So I said, can we all come back and take that same picture? <laughs> and so it was just kind of a cool moment, like, and, and just a reminder of, like, that. kind of how many people it takes. It takes a village to, like, support someone in the arts and to say, like, I encourage you to do this. So I kind of always knew I was going to do it, I guess. Yeah. I knew that I wanted to be an actor, that I wanted to pursue it professionally um, when I played Emily in Our Town in high school. And it was just one of those moments where after the show, you know, family friends were coming up to me and friends of my parents and they were still crying, you know, because that one, that'll just gut you, Our Town. And I thought, wow, I'm... I'm good at this. I'm I I affected them. And so that's when I knew I wanted to study it. And then I came to NYU and did that and started touring. Yeah. <laughs> In my heart I always knew it was what I wanted to do, but then I was quite the nerd. So I was, you know, very bookish and I think, you know, my science teachers wanted me to go into science and my English teachers oh. wanted me. So Did you ever toss that back and forth in your mind like which road do I take or you knew? No. Yeah. No. And in fact, when I went to NYU, I, I double majored in sociology, but not to have anything to fall back on, because why would it be sociology if it was? <laughs> but, um, you know, tuition was so expensive that I wanted to, like, get the most out of my education. And I wanted something that I felt would augment my work as an actor. And I thought psychology might get yeah. me, like, a little in my head. But, you know, so I guess I kept the bookish thing going oh. for a little while. <laughs> Mamie Paris, what was your role? to the Broadway. I don't know. You know, I, I I feel similarly in a lot of ways to both what Betsy and Jen said and also different in a way because I don't know that I ever like made the decision. I don't think there was ever a moment where I was like, I'm going to be on Broadway. I think once I discovered acting, it just became a part of who I was. And there was just never any question that I was going to do it. I think it found me. And coming to New York made the most sense because I knew I could come to New York, like everybody tells you, with no money and with no prospects and make something of it. And I came to New York and I went to school. I went to Amda for two years and, um, you know, but I came to New York with like 50 bucks and a suitcase. You know, I was that person. And I did have support in that, you know, my family always wanted me to follow my dreams. But I really kind of came here to to get out from under their feet as well, because we were we were having a hard time, my family, and I didn't want Mm. them to have to pay for me anymore. So I came to New York to struggle and be poor and to make art. And that sounds really pretentious, but it really was like I just didn't feel like I had a choice. And Broadway, I mean, I don't know that I ever really was one of those people that was like, Broadway. I didn't know if I would ever be on Broadway. I didn't know if I would wind up in Istanbul, like telling stories in a coffee shop. Like, I don't know. I didn't know where I was going to be, but I knew I wanted to immerse myself in this world surrounded by creative people doing creative things. And I wanted to tell stories. And so when it became serious for me, probably was early on, and then it becomes serious in lots of different ways. Then it becomes serious like, oh, I guess I have to consider if I'm going to do this for real, then I have to make it a career. And if I'm going to make it a career, then I have to make these choices. And if Mm -hmm. I'm going to make these choices, then I have to make these financial choices too. And that's when it becomes serious in a different way. (laughs) 